In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a pair of cozy shorts. For this project, we're going to need thread, pins, scissors, measuring tape, elastic, you can use any thickness you like, and fabric. The fabric I'm using is a ribbed stretch fabric which usually comes in a tube like this, but you can use any stretch fabric you like. We're going to create our pattern by taking measurements from a pair of existing shorts or in the next step I'm going to show you how to take measurements on yourself. So we want to measure the front seam as well as the back seam and take note of the curve that exists in both of those seams. We want to write down those two measurements as well as the measurement for the top of that piece, for the front and the back. If you don't have a pair of shorts, you can also take these measurements on a mannequin or yourself. So we're going to take the exact same measurements that we just did on the shorts on the mannequin. Looking at the diagram, we're doing those four measurements marked out by the red arrows. Now we're going to place these measurements onto our fabric. Because my fabric's in a tube, I just need to cut along to make it a flat piece of fabric. But I'm not going to cut it completely because we're going to add a band detail at the top and for that I want to keep that piece in a tube. If your fabric is already flat, you can just sew this band piece together. And I'm just going to leave about 30 extra centimeters to play with. So I'm just going to cut that piece off and set it to the side and then continue making the pattern piece for the shorts. So now with my flat piece of fabric, I'm going to place pins according to the measurements that I took. I didn't show measuring the length of the short, but for that measurement I want to add quite a bit extra so I have room to play around. Then I'm going to do the top of the waistband, the curve of the seam, and then just continue on pinning to the bottom of the fabric. The main goal here is to create the basic shape of the short shown again here in the diagram. And if you have a pair of shorts, you can use these as a stencil and adjust your pins accordingly. So that's the front piece pinned, and then we're going to move on to the back piece as well. So again, using those measurements, we're going to use our pins and mark it out. Remembering to add more of a curve for the back piece of the shorts. And again, if you have shorts, use those as a stencil and adjust your pins. Now we're ready to cut out where we placed our pins, keeping in mind we want to use a 1 cm seam allowance. For the second piece of the short, we're going to flip it to create a mirror image of the back and the front piece. So when we're done cutting out the front and back pieces, we're going to flip them around and cut them out again. This is especially important to flip our pieces around if we have a right and wrong side of our fabric. So now we have two mirrored pieces of our front, two mirrored pieces of our back, and our band piece for our shorts. We're now ready to attach our front and our back pieces. We're going to start by taking our back piece, which is the one with the more extreme curve, and attach it to our front piece right sides together. We're attaching these two pieces at the side seam, then we're going to attach the other mirrored pattern pieces at the side seam as well. And this is what it should look like if you open your piece of fabric, and then we're going to sew these two seams with a zigzag stitch. Before I sew, specifically with knits, I like to do a couple practice stitches to see the length and the width that I like to use for the fabric. And then we can sew those two side seams. Next, we're going to attach the two front pieces at the crotch seam, again right sides together. And then we're going to do the same for the back seam as well. And we're just sewing up to the end of that curve, leaving the leg open. And then we can sew where we placed our pins with a zigzag stitch. The next step is to attach the under the legs, lining up the two center seams, again right sides together. Before we continue sewing, it's important to try the project on throughout the sewing process and make any adjustments where necessary. If you don't have a mannequin, this is super easy to do on yourself as well. I'm just going to take it in a bit at all the seams and lower at the waistband. And then again with a zigzag stitch, I can sew all those adjustments. And then you can trim away any of the excess fabric. And then we can finish off by sewing the legs closed. And then cutting away that excess. The next step is to attach the waistband. If your fabric's not already in a tube, you're going to want to sew a strip together that's the width of your waist. And if the tube of fabric isn't the size of your waist, you can make adjustments just by sewing it as well. Depending where we place the band of fabric, we can create a high or low rise short. 
Here we're attaching the right side of the band fabric with the wrong side of the shorts. The seam is going to be tucked under on the outside of the shorts. So this was more of a high rise option for the shorts. We want a lower rise, we're just going to have to lower where we're placing the waistband. So here I'm probably dropping it by about 10 centimeters, cutting away the excess and then attaching the waistband. Again, the wrong side of the shorts with the right side of the waistband. And then you're just going to pin around the waist and then sew along where you placed your pins with a zigzag stitch. Then I like to take that seam and push it up towards the waistband and do a second top stitch to hold it down. And I would do the same technique if I was doing the high or the low rise short. Then I'm just gonna fold over the waistband and trim it to the length that I want it to be. This could be your last step, however, if you're finding that your fabric is a little loose around the waistband, you might find it even more so with the lower rise shorts, you can decide to add in an elastic. So right on top of the seam that we just created, on the outside of the shorts, I'm just going to pin around an elastic. And then with a zigzag stitch, I'm going to sew that down. If your elastic is a little thicker, you might want to do two stitches. And then finally, with shorts, I always like to add a little tag so I can tell the front from the back, and I'm just going to do this with a little piece of ribbon. And then I'm going to sew that down. As for hemming the edges, my fabric doesn't fray, so I'm going to leave those as raw edges. But if your fabric is fraying, you can use any technique you like for hemming in it. And you're all done! Thank you so much for watching, and if you liked this video, please subscribe.